In this problem, we're being asked to subtract the two given functions. That would be 2 divided by x minus x divided by x minus 3. And in order to add or subtract fractions, we need to have a common denominator. So we'll go over here to the side and talk about the co least common denominator of x and x minus 3. Now when you first look at these two, we would say, well, they both have an x. But the x in the second denominator is paired up with a minus 3. It's not a factor, but a term. So we need to remember that x minus 3 as a package is a factor. So the least common denominator includes all factors without replication. So we would want the single x, but we also need the x minus 3 to pair up with it. So x times x minus 3 will be our new common denominator. So we're going to take each of our fractions one at a time and build them up so that they have the common denominator of x times x minus 3. So we want to compare the denominator that we have, x, with the new one, x times x minus 3, and we can see that the new part here is the x minus 3. So that meant the denominator got built up by an x minus 3. So to maintain the balance here, we need to build up the numerator by x minus 3. So that will give us a new numerator of 2 times x minus 3. Now looking at it that way, you might be tempted to divide out those x minus 3's, but if you do that, notice you'll just end up back with 2 divided by x, and you'll do all this work basically for nothing. So now we'll take our second fraction, x divided by x minus 3, and do the same thing. So again, the common denominator is x times x minus 3. We'll compare the denominator that we started with and let's wrap that in parentheses so it looks a little more familiar. And notice that what's new is the single x in front. So we need to build up our numerator to match what happened in our denominator of building it up by a factor of x. So x times x in our numerator will give us x squared. Now that we have common denominators, let's rewrite our problem to times x minus 3 minus x squared all over the same denominator of x times x minus 3. Now to simplify, we're going to distribute that 2 to both of the terms there. So 2 times x is 2x and 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 minus that x squared that was there. And notice our attention's in the numerator at this point. Once we get the common denominator, it's basically being copied each step of the way. It doesn't change. We don't multiply it out because we like it in factored form. Now this last step, there, there's no common uh, like terms in the numerator, so we don't do anything with that. But we might think, well, it, this fraction might reduce. So we'd like to see if the numerator factors. So our attention will go to the numerator, but it's a little out of order. So to help us see if it factors, I'm going to put the, the x squared term first, the 2x second, and the minus 6 third. And of course, that denominator continues to get copied. And we're going to take a look at whether there are multiples, since this is a trinomial, of negative 6, the number in the rear, that add or subtract to the positive 2, the number in the center, the b value. And there are no factors that multiply to negative 6 and add or subtract to positive 2. So this problem does not factor, and therefore the fraction is in simplest form, which means we could have used the original version that we had in the step prior, or in this rearranged uh, numerator, either one of them would be the sum, or I'm sorry, the difference of the two fractions in reduced form.